Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel. And if you guys are new here, uh, my name is Sandy and I'm currently living in Fukuoka and working in a Japanese company for a couple of years. And today I'll be talking about things that you should totally know before you start learning Japanese. And if you guys are still in high school or you are in a different field and trying to learn um, Japanese, hopefully that this video can be useful for you and teaches you something that you don't usually find in class. If you guys watched my introduction video, I mentioned that I took Japanese literature back in university as my major six years ago. And in today's video, I will mention the four main key points that you need to know before you even start learning Japanese in order to uh, speed up your learning process. So the first key point is that you have to know what is your objective on learning Japanese. Why do you want to learn Japanese? And I know it sounds a little bit corny, but believe me, it's really important to know why do you even want to learn Japanese in the first place. Um, because unless you only want to learn Japanese um, to use it as a tool for your hobbies, for example, you want to uh, be able to watch anime without having to read the subtitle, or you want to read the Japanese manga without having to wait for the translation version. But if you want to use Japanese language as a tool for your professional career, then you have to take it more seriously. For example, if you want to be a translator, then you have to focus more on the reading and writing section of the studies. And you have to master the linguistic um, structure of the uh, language. Uh, for example, you have to read a lot of Japanese literature like novels, um, newspaper, or even some um, document, Japanese documents. And you have to be able to translate those uh, Japanese phrases into your local language. And sometimes you even need to localize the um, Japanese phrases because there are some Japanese words that cannot be 100% translated into your local language. So you have to have a lot of knowledge about Japanese language. But if you're somebody like me who wants to be a Japanese speaker, then you might want to focus more on building your experience uh, talking with a Japanese native speaker and building your and get comfortable with the Japanese language as soon as possible. And of course, you can be really good at all of it. Like you, if you want to be really good at reading Japanese characters and still be able to speak in a perfect Japanese, of course you can do it. All you need is a consistent and uh, keep practicing your language as much as possible because there's no point on learning language if you don't even use it. And the second key point is first you have to get used to the Japanese language and be comfortable with it. And what I mean by that is um, by exposing yourself to as many native speech as possible will help to increase your understanding about Japanese language even before you start learning it in class. And what I mean by native speech it doesn't mean that you have to speak with every Japanese person that you meet in the street. Uh, it came with various kind of media such as anime, movies, television series, programs, or interviews. And for myself, I consume and watch a tons of anime. And I could watch the same episode all over again, uh, same season, because I was so obsessed by it. Which helped me to build a foundation and understanding about the Japanese language uh, even before I start learning it in class. So I'm able to pronounce some Japanese phrases or Japanese um, word with the correct pronunciation because I have heard it so many times. So what I'm trying to say is by getting used to the Japanese language or any other language before you're studying it will help to increase and speed up your learning process and make the experience much more easier and more fun. But still, in order to improve your Japanese into another level, you cannot just rely on watching anime all the time. And there's only one way to do it, which is just keep practicing. And you can use one of these textbooks like Mina no Nihongo, which provides in-depth explanation about the Japanese language and also provides the drills that you can do daily. You can take one of the JLPT tests or Japanese language proficiency tests. If some of you guys never heard about JLPT before, JLPT is, uh, is basically kind of like TOEFL, but it is for Japanese and it consists of five different levels N5 being the most easiest for beginners and N1 being the most uh, advanced level of the test. And by working towards those JLPT tests will help to, you to keep in track and see how you progress when you're studying Japanese language in a much simpler way. And there's also other reason why you want to take JLPT tests. First, if you took Japanese literature as your major in university, 
you have to at least pass the entry level in order to be able to graduate. At least that's how it works in Indonesia. And also if you want to work in a Japanese company in Japan, you have to at least pass the N2 level if you want to be taken seriously. Uh, but keep in mind, if you don't go beyond the day-to-day uh, -day, uh, Japanese, you're never gonna improve any further. So number four is to keep challenging yourself. If you already covered the basic of Japanese language, then you might want to get out your comfort zone. And for example, in my case, I often use anime uh, to train my listening abilities. And over time, I realized that uh, listening Japanese from anime has become less challenging for me. So that's when I switched from watching anime into watching a lot of TV shows or Japanese interviews because I want to hear Japanese in a much more realistic way. And then I realized that Japanese in anime tends to be uh, much slower in pace and also easier to understand. And sometimes that can exaggerate the pronunciation a little bit. And if you compare it to TV show, uh, it tends to be much flatter in tone and also uh, much more faster in pace. So by comparing those two Japanese speech, I can focus on building a much more realistic way of speaking Japanese. There are so many ways to keep challenging yourself. Uh, you can start with small things like watching anime or Japanese movies without turning on the subtitle or read a more challenging literature like novels or non-fiction books or even reading a newspaper articles. Or if you want to improve your Japanese speaking skills, then you can also participate in the Japanese speech competition. And if you want to take a faster route, then you can also get into study exchange program and surround yourself in a Japanese speaking environment 24-7. Because I don't think there is any faster way to learn Japanese other than being in a Japanese speaking environment all the time. So I think that covers my four main key points about things that you should totally know before you start learning Japanese. And I know I cannot cover everything you need to know, but it is just the most important things that I personally think can help you guys to speed up your learning process. But I don't think my opinion alone is enough to give you guys some useful insight about how to learn Japanese. So in the next week episode, I'm gonna ask a couple of my colleagues about their learning process and maybe you can give us some tips or tricks about how to learn Japanese from zero. So as usual, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Sandy out.